Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I love just seeing all the different cool places across North Alabama, and that's one I've got to check out. Mm -hmm. I love Mentone. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so pretty up there, all those little quaint shops that they have. Have you been up there? Yes, many, many times, actually. It's one of my favorite spots right there along the border. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Get over there on a road trip. Yeah. I say we go on a, a road trip on a weekend one time. Let's do it. Let's do Deal. Y'all see this little smug grin? This is the look I give you when I know you're going to like me today because you're going to like the <laughs> forecast today. <laughs> You know on these 31 alert days, y'all people, I'm not your favorite. But today, <laughs> I think I might be in the, in the running for being all y'all's favorites. Now, we do have green on the three-day thread tracker today, tomorrow, and in fact, Thursday as well. If I could swap out this good for great on Tuesday and Wednesday, well, I'd do it in a heartbeat. We're feeling really nice today. It's the first day of our brief, but really nice, false fall. However, tomorrow is even better. Our humidity tomorrow, even lower than it is today. But soak in today and tomorrow while they're here by Thursday. Today we're talking about slightly more humidity and by Friday and this weekend it is back to that oppressive heat. 646 on your Tuesday morning, 31 dribble dopplers looking good and completely dry from rain. Plus we're free from cloud cover as well. Now we could have one or two pockets of clouds develop later this afternoon, but for the most part it's going to be a picture perfect and postcard day in the Tennessee Valley. The Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, just confirming that. Our breezes are getting stronger. You can see the flags outside the Space and Rocket Center blowing, but they're nowhere near as strong as they will be by later this afternoon. Out the door temperatures are sitting in the mid and upper 60s, well below average for this time of year. Plus, they're hanging around in the 60s for the rest of your early morning commute. Whether you're leaving at 7 o'clock this morning in just about 13 minutes, oh, all that leave at 7 just said only 13 minutes. I know you did. By 8 a.m. if that's when you're leaving, we're still in the 60s. So whether it's the bus stop or your drive to the office, really, really comfortable, almost crisp and fall like air this morning. Our breeze is getting stronger through the afternoon and our sunshine is staying with us. Now those cooler temperatures, that is helping us. But what's really aiding and feeling so refreshing this morning is our humidity. Dew point measures the amount of moisture in the air and it directly correlates to how muggy and how sticky we'll feel. Now, I'm going to walk you through a lot of numbers right here, but I promise we'll make it make sense. You know how on our muggy meter that I normally show you, we have that pleasant category? Well, that starts at 64 degrees or cooler. We're already at 61 degrees for our dew points, so we're already well inside the parameters of pleasant. But our dew points are just dropping as we head through the rest of today and into this evening. Our muggy meter scale stops measuring at 55 degrees and today we're getting down to 57, some of us even 56. So we're barely even registering on the muggy meter scale by later this afternoon. And that's where that refreshing air is really coming into play. Our high temperature today remains below average at 85 degrees. The sun sticks around and our breeze, well, that's even picked up since yesterday. It's still coming out of the north, ushering in cooler air, also helping us to feel more autumn-like, but it's even stronger than it was, about five miles an hour or so when we're talking about wind gusts by later this afternoon. So we're talking lower humidity, below average, below average temperatures, plenty of sun and a strong cool breeze out of the north. Today is a winner and tomorrow even better. When you wake up, we're in the upper 50s. By 8 a.m., we're sitting in the mid-60s. We have a breeze tomorrow, but not a gusty wind like we'll see today. Our high temperatures in the mid-80s and sunshine, and tomorrow, we're not even on the muggy category. By Thursday and Friday, though, those dew points are getting higher and higher, so take advantage of today and tomorrow while you can before heat and humidity return this weekend and especially next week.